Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Bakani and in this video, I'm excited to share with you a strategy that will let you simplify these double square roots quickly. Let's get started. Let's look at this uh, first problem here. The strategy here is to look at this radicand 51 plus 6 squared of 30. And we're going to write this as a square of a binomial. But this binomial here may contain radicals. So we want to write this expression here like a perfect square trinomial, which is in this form, which can be written as the square of a plus b. And the trick here is to consider this radical expression as our middle term. So we want to write this expression as something plus, this will be our middle term, so it should be in the form 2ab, so that can be written as 2 times 3 squared of 30, and then plus another term. Now, to easily find these terms here, we're going to do prime factorization for this number outside of the radical and for the number inside of the radical. In this case, we can write 3 squared of 30 as 3 times squared of 2 times squared of 3 times squared of 5. Because we are considering this as our middle term in this trinomial, then the sum of the a squared and b squared must be equal to 51. Therefore, we want to divide this into two factors whose sum of squares is equal to 51. So now you can already do like guess and check wherein, for example, let's say you put this one here and then put this one here and you'll see that the square of 3 squared of 2, so that is equal to 9 times 2, so that is 18, and then plus the square of uh, square to 15, which is equal to 15. So this one, it's not equal to 51. Now you may also try to put the 3 here and then the square root of 30 here and you'll get here the square of 3 is 9 and then plus the square of square root of 30. So that is equal to 30. Again, it's not equal to 51. But if we try, let's say, uh, 3 and uh, square root of 5 here, so 3 square root of 5. And then let's say square root of 6 here, so that is square root of 2 times square root of 3. Then the square of this will be 9 times 5, so that is 45. And then plus 6, which is equal to 51. Therefore, we found the correct values of a squared and b squared. So we can write 51 as the square of 3 square root of 5 plus the square of square root of 6. So we can now write this expression here as the square of this one and then plus this middle term here and then plus the square of square root of 6. Therefore, we can write our double square root as the square root of this expression here, which can be written as the square of 3 square root of 5 plus square root of 6. Clearly, this is a positive number, so therefore, the square root of this quantity squared is just equal to 3 square root of 5 plus square root of 6. Now, let's look at the second problem. Again, we look at the radicand 75 minus 12 square root of 21. And because of this minus sign here, we're going to use this formula, okay, instead of the plus a plus b. So here we're going to treat the negative 12 square root of 21 as negative 2ab. And we can easily find the values of a and b if we can prime factorize. Okay, for example, this one here can be written as 2 times 6 square root of 21. So do a prime factorization for 6 and 21. 
And you'll get here 2 times 3 and then square root of 3 times square root of 7. Now we only need to divide this into two factors so that the square of the factors, the sum of their squares, will be equal to 75. So we want to divide this into two factors such that the sum of their squares is equal to 75. And here you can try combinations again. For example, when we square this, so square of 6, so that is 36, plus what is the square of this one, so that is equal to 21. So this is 57. So this is not equal to 75. So how about if we square 2, square root of 3? So if we square this one, if that is 2 square root of 3, we'll get here 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. And then plus, so if we have here a 3 square root of 7, then you'll get here 9 times 7, which is equal to 63. So 63 plus 12 is indeed equal to 75. So we found already those two factors. Therefore, we'll get here the square of 2 square root of 3 plus the square of 3 square root of 7. And we can now write this difference here as this expression, which implies that this double square root here can now be written as the square root of this expression, which is equal to this radicand. And now, because of this minus sign here, we don't know whether it's positive or negative. Then, to be safe, we can put the absolute value of this expression. And now, do you think this is positive or negative? So, this is larger than 6, greater than 6. But this one here, it is less than 6. It is actually less than 4. So, we know that this is less than 0. So the absolute value of this number will be the negative of this number. So this is equal to the negative of the number, which is equal to 3 square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 3. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.